Hi, I'm Dave Bourbon Astro, and tonight I'm actually going to go out to a dark sky site, I hope. There's still clouds in the sky, but according to um, Claire outside, it's supposed to be cloudless tonight. So stay tuned. So like I said, I'm going out to a dark site. It's not my typical. I typically head west of Phoenix, about an hour and a half drive out, and that gets me out past a little town out there called Tonopah, and it's essentially like a Portal 2 sky. But Interstate 10 is undergoing a lot of um, a lot of road construction. And so I'm afraid that it's going to be, well, difficult to, to traverse, if you know what I mean. Getting stuck behind large trucks for miles. And so I decided to head east instead. And so I'm heading out into the Superstition Mountains, which is just east of Phoenix. And right now I'm driving through a little town called uh, Apache Junction and I'll drive through it which I'm getting there at this point in time and I will drive into the Tonto National Forest heading towards Canyon Lake and I suspect that the skies even though they won't be perhaps a Bortle 2 maybe they'll be like a Bortle 3 which is a lot better than my Bortle skies that I have at home. Uh, potential targets for tonight, at least for my RC6, I'm going to continue to work on trying to get um, Bode's Galaxy in the Cigar Galaxy. I'm hoping that with the um, with the skies out here, the sky quality, that I'll be able to get Bode's Galaxy. And for my narrow band setup uh, with my 80 millimeter, I'm probably going to shoot the Cone Nebula and the Christmas Tree Cluster. It's all kind of in the same general area. And it's a new target for me. I have not shot it before. And I'm hoping, typically, I like to shoot narrow band targets, you know. 14 plus hours uh, if I can get up towards 18 hours that would be fantastic um, but I'm thinking that most likely if this really is like a Bortle 2 or Bortle 3 sky then I'll probably end up getting some good subs because there won't be fight pollution to fight against and so I'll get more signal at least that's the hope. So, anyways, um, driving uh, through Apache Junction, like I said, and heading towards a darker site than my backyard. As luck would have it, I left my laptop at home. I brought everything else and I started setting everything up. In fact, I had my last Mandy pretty much all set up when I realized I forgot my laptop. And without my laptop, I can't control anything. So, I'm gonna head back to the house Tonight will not be astrophotography at the dark site or a dark site. Just too bad, but oh well. That's life, and that's usually how these things go. So you'll see me next when I'm setting up 
in my backyard once again. Well, <laughs> that was an epic failure. Uh, I just cannot believe that I brought everything and forgot my laptop. And so I came back home. It was like an hour and 15 minute drive back. To get away from Phoenix, you got to drive quite, quite a ways out. And so I was deep into the Superstition Mountains. And so I needed to, of course, drive back. And everybody else was leaving Canyon Lake. And so the road was all backed up. And so, yeah, it took me well until after dark to get back. And I unpacked my van, but it was too late to really do any setup and try to get myself uh, positioned so that I could do any astrophotography. So what I did instead was I came back inside after I got everything out of the van and I got things, for the most part, kind of rough set up. Again, I would have to do polar alignment and all that stuff on the next clear night. So what I did instead was I came inside and I put together a checklist. A checklist that I can use when I'm going to go remote, go out to a remote dock site. I can go through the checklist and check off all the items that I've got to make sure that I have everything and that I haven't left anything behind <laughs> like I did on this particular trip and so I have a link to a Google Drive and I have that down below and you can download that little checklist and you can it's in Microsoft Word format so you can go ahead and you can edit it to your heart's content and make it fit your particular situation. It's really designed for my situation with my two mounts and my two setups. And I try to make it as generic as possible, but that isn't always possible. If you want to see more of my adventures, click on the video that you see over here and clear skies and happy guiding. And oh yeah. Good luck to you next time you go out to a remote site.